All right, so I'm gonna make a quick video on steps that I like to take when I am making a hip hop or R&B beat that uses any form of sampling. I'm just gonna jump in and do what I normally would do. All right, so right off the bat, the first thing I would do is go to samplet.io. This is a sick website because I can find samples super easily. I already found this one and I'm probably gonna use it. Um, but uh, essentially you would go down to this filter here and you would uh, select genres. The first thing I like to do in a case like this, if I'm just doing something obvious, I would choose jazz and then I would go to maybe like, I don't know, yeah, the country and maybe do like Japan or something or some country, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, after that I would do views and I would say I don't want a popular song, right? So I'd say max 100,000 views. You can go lower, but that's what I like to do. Then you hit the randomize button and see what you get. And I get this song, which you probably can't hear. Actually fire. I only heard a little bit, but that's all you need, bro. Then I go to any YouTube to MP3 downloader. Boom. Convert. Boom. Good. Download. Got it. Okay, so here's all the tools I use. I use Osseo Link Pro so that you can hear it. Um, that's the only way you're going to get my audio. Splice that I use solely for drums. Uh, it just saves a lot of time, so it's kind of a no-brainer for me. All right, bet. So I already know what we're doing. We're going to all my... Uh, I have a lot of VSTs, like all of the ones you, you would want. I can recommend like a million, but for now, Serato Sample. It's my favorite sampling tool of all time, for sure. My favorite sampling tool. Let's see what we got here. Here's a sample, and let me just make sure you can hear that. You can't hear it. That's why we check. There it is. There it is. Away. So it automatically syncs to, I'm gonna go for 85. So I'm gonna pitch this up instantly. Yeah, I already know I wanna do that. Uh, I would use RC20. Uh, you don't have to do it in this order, this just happens to be the order I'm going in. I kind of like their default one, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, I use Regroover, so I can split up drum samples. So if I have a drum sample, like a full drum sample, I throw it in Regroover, it splits it into four different uh, transients, like um, the hi-hats, the snare, the kick. You get it. Let me not explain it to you. You, you, you. you understand, you clicked on the video. So boom. You can't go wrong. Export, boom. Drag it in, hold control so it can drop them into separate tracks, boom. Done. Um, then I have to find which one of these is the kick. Found it, first try. Kick. It's only my rename. This is the snare. Snare. And the rest of these, I call this uh, the clicker. Um, because it's usually, depending on the drum sample that you have, it could be anything. And this should be the cymbals. Yep. So, say hi-hat. Boom. So I have the drums going now. I pull up Serato Sample. Okay, once I have it chopped up like that, uh, then it's just, you know, you just...
Yeah, something like that. But actually, like we know there can be something there, but I'm just gonna stop. But I kinda wanna try out the other one. Uh, the other one excited me a little bit more, the one I found. I think uh, one thing I want to throw on is uh, a side chain just to duck underneath uh, the kick. So I'm using a general compression on Ableton, and the only function I use on it is the side chain function on kick. I just find it to be easy and simple. And Okay, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much how I would uh, go about doing that. And then after I sample, I would probably use yo. I'm gonna need this Celsius low key. We're not sponsored yet, but we're getting there. Celsius and Liquid Death. Those are those are the two. Hmm, that's pretty good. From there, it's just about adding elements. So I would add like, you know, any. MIDI synth, you know, maybe another keyboard. I have guitars in the back. Maybe I'd throw in some guitar for the bass. Maybe I'd use a real bass, or I could use Sublab, but it's not really with the vibe of the music, you know? Anyway, it has no place in this song, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be ending the video now. Bye.